I said, praise the Lord, everybody. Can you help me give God the glory this morning? Come on, help me open. Come on, open your mouth and let's give God the glory. Come on. He's worthy of your praise. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, we got to thank him. You, you got something to thank God for. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, God, for your mercy. Thank you for keeping us all night long. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for being our rock and our shield. Come on, come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. It is an honor to be here with you this morning. I want to give God praise for all of you who came out. I want to give God praise for my mother and my father who are here with me. For Pastor Fred Wyatt and First Lady and their son. And for all of these amazing young people here today. I believe I have a word from the Lord this morning. I'm not going to waste any time. I would like for you to stand up with your Bibles. If the person next to you doesn't have a Bible, share with them. But keep your social distance. Thank you. And repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the Bible. God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet. And the light unto my path. I will hide God's word in my heart. That I might not sin. Against God. The scripture will be coming from the Old Testament. Psalms 102 verses 16 through 18. When you have it say amen. And it says, when the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and will not despise their prayer. This shall be written for the generations to come and the people which shall be created and shall praise the Lord. You may be seated. My subject this morning as the Lord guides is we got next. Look at somebody and say we got next. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. God, we want to thank you for this morning. We want to thank you, God, for letting all of your people be with each and every one of them. I pray, God, that you will keep us today, God. I pray, God. That the glory is light and the gospel of Jesus Christ would shine bright as always. I pray that they will not hear a word from Hilton Rawls III, but they will hear a word from you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. To all who are in this place, let me just say that it is a blessing to be here with you this morning. And it is a blessing to be a part of God's family. Pastor, before I could even talk, I already love God. And now as I grow older, I'm learning to love God more, and I want to know God better. I'm blessed to have parents who teach me every day about the love of God. But everyone does not have the same experience as I do. Many young people in our churches are disconnected from faith in Jesus. And I'm talking about Christian young people. 63% of American Christian teenagers do not believe that Jesus is the son of the living God. 53% believe that all religions are equally true. Witchcraft, burning sage, and crystals is the new term with Christian young people. But But even when evil looks like it's winning, somebody has to believe the word of God. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, God said, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive your sin and I will heal your land. 
Ecclesiastes 12 says, remember now thy creator in the days of your youth. We will not be silent and we cannot wait. Listen, we are not the church of tomorrow, but we are the church of right now. Many still believe that children should be seen and not heard, but that's not the Bible. God has always, and he still uses young people. David was a shepherd boy. Samuel was a child in the temple. Daniel and the Hebrew boys were young men. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was only a teenager when she had Jesus. And Jesus himself said, suffer the children to come to me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom. Many adults aren't teaching us to value a relationship with God. iPods and iPads and iPhones are raising this generation. Social media and nasty music fill our minds. The Bible says that foolishness is bound in the hearts of the young. Now, that's true. Because if I could eat pizza and drink Gatorade and play basketball every day, I would. But my mother over there ain't having it. I got you for that, mama. That's all right. Proverbs 22 says, train up a child in the way that they should go, not want to go. So when they get older, they will not depart from it. My father says to me, as for me and my house, boy, you're going to do what I say. <laughs> we are surrounded by witchcraft. Now is the time to stand for our faith in God. And what does it mean to be a real Christian in 2022, Hilton Walls? Well, I talk to my father every day about the evil that's growing in this world. And he says to me, well, son, the devil is trying to poison your testimony so that you will poison others. The devil knows you're anointed by God to do great things. So he sends demonic distraction. But I'm a kid on a mission and I can do this. The Bible says I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. Somebody shout, yes, I can up in here. Young people, don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Hold on to God's hand. We've got greater living inside of us. First John says, now are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what you shall be. I came to speak to somebody's possibility this morning. Uh, the devil has been lying to you. You are not who he says you are. You're not a criminal. You're not a thug. You're not a dropout. A pimp. You're not a thought. You're not a jump off. You're not the B word. Uh, and you're not a loser. The devil is a liar. You are royal. You are chosen. And you are God's people. And you are anointed to finish. And he that beganeth a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Tell somebody that God finishes what he starts. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 19, all creation Wait with expectation for the manifestation of the sons of God. That means that the world is waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to pick a side. Love God with all of your heart. Love the Lord thy God with all of your mind. Love the Lord thy God with all of your soul. And love him with all of your strength. This is the season for new recruits. The church is in trouble and they need us. Let me tell you something. God is moving people out of the way so that you can step up. We need to see miracles in God's church again. But folks sitting up in the church are sitting up here bound up with demons. But God is raising up a nation. The devil is trying to destroy our generation. He wants to kill our anointing. Now listen. Nobody, and I mean nobody, puts money in a soda machine. 
that says out of all. So God is saying, let me get this generation fixed so that I can give them my glory. Tell somebody that glory is on the way. Your eyes have not seen and your ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the hearts of men the things that God prepared. Oh Lord, that God prepared for them who love him. Young people, God is looking for us. The world around us is evil, but God wants to use us. Prophesy to your neighbor and say you will not die in the street. You will not be a victim. You will not overdose. You will not be a statistic. You will not be a baby mama. You will not quit school. But you will go to college. You will graduate. You will pass the test. You will be successful. And you will be next. Everything the devil said about me is a lie. And I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Oh, no, 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 let me change that. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I'm so glad that I'm a son of God. And I've got his name. And I've got next. Devil, I will not be intimidated. Second Timothy 1 verse 7, just for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Tell your neighbor, I've got my right mind. I've got the love of God, and I ain't scared of no power. Young people, the power of life and death is in our mouth. We just got to say what God says. Can I speak life to you for a minute? First Peter 2 verse 9 says, But ye are as a chosen generation, a holy nation, uh, uh, a peculiar people. For ye who have shown the praises of him, who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which of time past were not a people, but now the people of God, which had not had obtained mercy, for they now have obtained mercy. Psalms 27 verse 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid uh, Hebrews 11 verse 1 says now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen uh, Ephesians 3 verse 20 says now unto him that is able to do exceeding upon it above all you could ask or think according to the power I said the power that worketh in you I've got one more few that I'm out of here. Romans 1 verse 16 says, For we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the what? For it is the power of God unto salvation. Young people, they underestimate our potential. But this is our season to shine. This is our season to grow. This is our season to live holy. And this is our season to be next. Tell your neighbor, get ready. Because we got next. Joel says in the last days, God will pour out his spirit on all flesh. He says your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see visions. And your handmaidens, they shall prophesy. 
look at somebody and declare it's time to prophesy. You've got the keys to somebody's prison in your mouth. Psalms 24 says, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? I said, who is this king of glory? I can't hear nobody in here. The Lord God, strong and mighty. The Lord God, almighty in battle. Turn to your neighbor and tell them that's why you've got to open your mouth. Because open mouths equal open doors. Now come on and start declaring the power of God. Deliverance is in your mouth. Healing is in your mouth. Peace is in your mouth. Therapy is in your mouth. Prosperity is in your mouth. It's in your mouth. Praise him till he saves your family. Praise him till he delivers your enemies. Praise him till he opens the door. Praise him till he makes a way. Praise him till he makes your enemies a footstool. Praise him till he moves the stone away. Praise him till he exposes the devil. You've got power. I said you've got power. You've got power to win. Come on, huh? I wasn't supposed to be here. You weren't supposed to make it. You weren't supposed to exceed, succeed. But God had the last word over your life. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, I know the plans that I have for you. Plans of good and not of evil. Plans to give you hope for your future. If the devil was going to kill me, he should have killed me in the night. If he was going to take my joy, he should have stolen it in the night. If he was going to take my peace, he should have stolen it in the night. You may be going through right now, but weeping may. Give me a little more. But weeping may endure for night but John I said John oh y'all don't like my preaching I said but John is coming in the morning shake your neighbor by the hand and say you've got a reason to praise him you've got a reason to shout and if you ain't gonna shout, I'm gonna shout. I'm going to a place called Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes to your will. I say yes. I say yes. I said I'll say yes to your will. Yes to your will. I'll give it a glory. I'll praise your name. I'll shout. I'll do everything for you. We got next. Look at somebody and say, We, we got next. Yeah. Be not dismayed. Whatever, whatever be tired. God will. will take care of you. Look at somebody and say we got next. We got next. We got next. God bless you.